our show this year is Full Tilt. It's about us tilting the pinball machine. I am the um, pinball boy, as they call me, yeah. We talked about doing a Tommy and a pinball show for a while, and we finally kind of put it together. They brought the pinball in when they announced it, and everyone started screaming. They were jumping up and down because we don't, I mean, it's different. Uh, we have a, a key band parent that does some engineering and lighting for us, and me and him kind of got together last March and talked about how can we make this happen. We're, we don't want a remote control, let's have a person inside of it. So we ordered two or three different things, and then we finally got it right. Everyone's like, how does it even work? They don't even know how it works. And so it's just, it's really cool because they don't understand, and it's, I mean, it's cool to be different. <laughs> We realized uh, a little ways into the season, we needed to put something to stabilize it. So inside, we um, adhered a bar in the middle with another bar on top so they have something to hold on to that helps them steer. It's a PVC pipe, and pretty much you just grab onto it and it just rolls with you, and it's transparent. We have two different students that actually are in there during the course of the show. Well, the first student, she's one of our star soccer players at the school. So I'm like, she's really athletic. She's going to be able to do this. So I kind of took volunteers, and she was the first one that said, hey, I think I'd like to do that. Being in there, it's hard to be in that thing. So we were kind of like, let's have two different people do it. First girl's Italy Hernandez, and the second student, Stephen Gallo. My band director was like, hey, you're the pinball. And I just said, OK. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And Stevens uh, just had a blast with it. He'll even on days where it rains, he's practicing with the ball in the hallways of the school. Oh, they, at the very beginning, they were very timid. They weren't sure where to go. And by the end of the season, they were ready to mow people down. Like, get out of my way, clarinets! I got a path to get where I need to go. I've just seen them blossom with confidence, and not just on the field. That has stemmed into their just regular personality too. Both of them are a lot more outgoing. Kind of since they became the star of the show, they both kind of become a lot more outgoing personalities. They're already great kids to start with, but I've seen that little extra sparkle from them getting to do this and be the stars. These are ramps. I go down them and Italy does too. The pinball girl, yeah. Yeah, pretty much that's it. Those are um, triangles, bumpers we hit. But we try to do a show that, that, that appeals to everybody of all ages. It, the judges, we want to make sure they like it, but we want to make sure the crowd at our home football games likes it too. Something everybody can enjoy. We had some serious music by Symphony 5 by William Bolcom, but we also have Pinball Wizard. So we got a little bit of something for everybody. Seeing the pinball go across the field, on, up on the podium, on the ladders, it's just crazy, surreal. It's a real experience. It was definitely motivating, especially to see Claudia Taylor Johnson, the band that went before us, taking pictures. They all clapped when we got done, that was awesome. Just this positive atmosphere. It's so neat when you're passing another band in the hallway and the kids are fist bumping and giving each other high fives and say, way to go, or get out there and do your best. That's what keeps us coming back, that positive atmosphere. It's cool to come to this competition and see the bands from all around and know that we're all high schoolers going through the same struggles and pushing towards the same goals, just performing, performing out here. The band really is the heart and soul of our community. Um, we've had a really long and proud tradition with Bands of America. James F. Burns um, was coming here long before I was the director. They've been uh, attending Bands of America events for over 30 years, and it's just kind of a tradition here. Um, the band's been at uh, Grand National so many times, and each, each time we've been able to etch up and do just a little bit better. Our band really has an energized performance. You know, we'll go to competitions in our state and nearby, and we'll have a lot of people come that aren't even band parents. They just like to come support the band and support the community. But we're really lucky we had such a, a great following. And there's just a lot of spirit and enthusiasm with our band. Seeing the energy from my friends and, and the members of the band is the best experience because we're all in this together. We've been through this long season and we're just here living up this Lucas Oil energy. It's just it's awesome. Can't explain it. I get teary-eyed on the side, just all the energy and all the emotion, knowing the blood, sweat, tears, marching in the heat, marching in the freezing sleet and rain, it just knowing what all they've been through to get here, all the hours and hours of fundraising and, and just getting enough money to even afford to make this trip, just seeing all that culminate here on the performance of the field, I just couldn't be more proud of these kids. They've worked so hard. This being my last experience is a good one, a great experience.